Hi guys, Danny James here and this should be a complete guide to 3D camera tracking in After Effects. Let's get into it. I have a clip with baby over here and you can see there is a bit of shakiness to it. I want to start by showing you how to stabilize motion. I'm sure you are familiar with Warp Stabilizer from Premiere Pro. So with the stabilize motion just click on it, ensure that the motion source is selected in case you have several layers on your comp you'll be given a track point and you can see that you are already in a layers panel find a position with good contrast i'll go for the nose area hopefully i'm not being nosy and then i will click play so that it can track going forwards and stabilize this footage and with that you just need to hit on apply afterwards confirm the dimensions and you can see it brings us back to our composition and if we scroll through after effects it's trying to keep this place in the middle of the screen as much as possible now all you need to do just hit s and scale it up continue scrolling and ensure that you can see any of this black space and now we have a stabilized clip now this is different from track motion i'll just delete the trackers make sure you've clicked on your clip click on track motion and then i'll use a different track point probably now i'll go for the eye there is better contrast over here and then you can go each frame analyzing forward if that's what you want and i can correct it that's the advantage of going frame by frame and i'll follow it to the end i think i can now click play and you're good so if I scroll back, I can see that it follows the eye perfectly. So what you need to do, we need to put this tracker information somewhere. Right click on this empty space, create a new null object. This will be a placeholder for our tracking info. So I will actually rename the null object into tracking info. And then right on our trackers, I will edit the target, place it as a tracking info, and then we can apply these measurements. So if I hit you on the null object, you can see we have all these keyframes and you can also go ahead and delete the trackers from our initial video. So what I'll do now, I'll just introduce an image of a lean cap from my assets, place it where I want, scale it down. And now I can parent it to the tracking info tab. And if you can't see these parent and link tabs, make sure you toggle between switches and modes. Take this pick whip and direct it to that null object or also click right here and select the tracking info as the placeholder. And now we've been able to track this lean cap onto the area. And now I'd like to show you how to track motion, which is a little bit different from the others that I've shown you. So this is a clip of TJ on a turf and I have a rotated selection of him on top. I'll explain and show why later on. So let's just work with the background layer, which is right here click on track camera and then just let it analyze you can also click on advanced so that you can see the average error that it brings here place items on top i would like to see more points on this other side one more thing that you want to watch out for you want to watch out for the average error you want to keep it below one where possible once again you can change the solve method in case you are not getting all the track points that you're looking for i will also enable detailed analysis so that it can also create better track points. This is good. You can see with the detailed analysis, we now have more track points on top and I can scroll through. I can also increase the track point size like this. As you can see in the event of doing this, we've lost out the track points that we wanted to have on the ground. So I'll show you a workaround for this. Just duplicate your base clip, delete the camera tracker from the duplicate, add the curves from your effect, create an S on the curve so that the highlights are a bit more pronounced and the shadows are even more pronounced. You can't track on this image because it has more effects. So you need to right click and pre-compose and then move all the attributes into that pre comp so that also the effects are moved into the new composition. Once you've pre comped you can track camera and hopefully it should be able to get all the track points on the surface. Also remember to switch between these solving methods and see what you can get. For now, I won't work with this one. I'll go to our original clip, which is our base clip. I want to show you just some of the things that you can do with this tracking. I'll reduce my track point sizes and then I'll go to somewhere like here, right click, create solid and camera. And now we have a solid right there. If we hit S, we can reduce the scaling of it 
we can also hit r and rotate it as much as we need to but for now i'll leave things to the default values including the scaling i will pre-comp this solid and leave all attributes in this one so that if we go into this solid for example i can text lil tj and i'll disable the visibility for this track solid change the font a bit and if you come back to our comp main comp you can see our text stays right there one more thing that you can also do with this is that you can add uh, items like fires and debris so i would go to my asset folders and add some fire effects okay like this one i'll need to loop it and if you come back to our main comp toggle switches and modes change our blending mode to screen we have our fire right there and it can also be together with the texts that we made earlier on you can see it looks good i'll go for a different track point this time round make sure you've clicked on your 3d tracker i'll find a place right over here i can right click and create a solid i will right click and pre-comp it inside our pre-comp I will just go to our effects and look for elements from video copilot if you have it this should be a very easy thing to do click on scene setup click on import find the item that you're trying to add in my case i'm adding a gun use auto normals hit ok click on normalize size so that it's big enough click on this selection tool and now while holding alt and scrolling around with your mouse you should pan around this item you can add a material to it i will add the gold material and i think this is good enough to work with i can hit ok now come back to my solid and here's the gun i can go under the group one settings particle look increase the size for it i can go to the particle rotation and rotate it on the y axis like this and i can enable a keyframe for that hit u put that keyframe to the beginning go towards the end and then we can have it rotate like in gta and if we come back to our main comp here's our gun rotating right on that area and this is the reason i also had a rotor of the subject is that you can keep the rotor of the subject above everything else and then i can re-enable it and you can see the gun just rotates right behind him and that's camera tracking for you guys i hope i was able to explain it in a direct and digestible way while also going through obvious errors that you could go through while working on these camera tracking tabs. Once again, the easiest way to support this channel is by visiting my website at dannyjames.co for preset packs and LUTs to level up your visuals. In case you have anything to add on to this video, kindly leave it on the comment section and I'm happy to have a back and forth with you guys and also learn from you. My name is Danny James. See you guys on the next one.